Hey, Composing Gloves here, and we have reached the first test. This is something new. This whole workbook concept is something new. And part of the newness is I'm introducing these tests and I think they are, as I was making this, I realized what a good idea this is. If you're in class, something that really pushes you is that test at the very end. So we've covered a fair amount of material. If you really think about it, we've covered scales. We've covered a number of terms. We've covered um, amongst the scales, why certain things would be better to do than other things. Intervals, naming intervals, kinds of intervals. We've covered uh, a bunch of concepts like key, what is a key, what is a scale, all these different things. And so this is a little test. Well, it's an okay test. This would be like a chapter test. Like you would get this around like week three or four of your class of like maybe a 16 week class. And in it, we have all the bells and whistles of everything we've covered so far. So if you can't, if you have to look up stuff to do this test, you're not ready to move on to the next material. Uh, you need to go back and redo old material, maybe come up with your own exercises, do something, maybe compose more, but uh, get a better grip on it because you will drown in information if you can't, if you're not at this level yet. So you should be able to get an A on this test. We're not talking C or B. You should be able to pass with an A and you should be able to do it in a reasonable amount of time. If you can sit down, and, but it takes you like an hour to do this test, that's something's not right. You don't know something well enough yet. So you got to go back and just get these things under wraps. All the questions on here are questions that you should really know the answer to pretty comfortably. So I have a little thing up here at the top talks about it. And then just remember, if don't cheat yourself here. If you cheat yourself, uh, you're completely missing the point because there's not a grade or anything. This is completely for you. So don't, if you can't pass it, go back. Be willing to put in the work. It's totally worth it in the end. So the first one, you got to construct a uh, scale. There's a couple other scale construction exercises, um, building intervals, all that sort of thing. Now, when you're when you're answering some of these, the way I'm going to put the answers in, because there will be an answer key, is you hit Control T and you can respond. And so you can respond down here, you know, blah 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 blah, and you can hit Enter and it will continue to go. And so, if you need more room, just like you could scale the text. There's a text tool uh, if you need it, which appears down here at the bottom. Mm, where'd you go? Oh, it's over here for me right now. You can do a whole bunch of different things with the text if you need smaller text. And so there's all that. Build intervals, scales, a bunch of like definitions. There's true false at the end, right? Everyone loves true false. And yes, so that's that there. And I plan to have more of these as we cover chunks of material, just so you can gauge where you are. It's pretty hard with YouTube videos, if you're just following along in a series, to know if you're really making progress, if you're ready to move on to the next principles, these sorts of things. When you're in a class, these are great gauges for how you're doing. Um, if I mean, you could talk about it down below. I'm not gonna go and grade your paper. You'll be provided with the answer sheet. So that's that. There, there will not be mistakes on this, but if you discover a, uh, a typo or something, uh, then go ahead, list that down below. I make the change as fast as I can and update everything, but uh, there shouldn't be any problems. But just in case, you know, got to cover your bases. So, yes, if you have any questions about this, let me know. Subscribe. Isn't that funny how professors always say that before you take a test? Do you guys have any questions? And I'm like, yeah, like, I have a lot of questions, but you're not going to answer any of them. It's one of those. It's always so ironic to me. And have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.